It's Iron Grip. This is a house in Stoke. Just going to do a quick appraisal on. I'm going to try and run through the house quite quickly. I'm just going to see what does or doesn't comply with HMO regs. First thing that I notice is no smoke alarms, as you can see. Um, fire doors, fire doors are installed. They're FD thirties. Got the door closers, which is good. But the trouble is, as you can see, there's no thumb turn, so we need slash lock spring in there and some Euro cylinders. Not a big job. Something else in this, in this room is only got one plug socket. Generally, minimum standard is we like to have two. And this is a I think it's a five or a six bed property in the student quarter. Right, that's bedroom one. Walk our way into bedroom two downstairs. Let's turn the lights on, eh? We have light. Okay. Bit dated furniture, but hey ho. Uh, again, this room, no smoke alarm, so that's needed. Again, thumb turn lock, needed. Um, we've got a plug socket there. No. No, so this room only has one plug socket. As I say, we like to have two, apart from that. I don't see anything else wrong with this room. Quickly move on. Right, okay. It's not much, but bulb missing. Tickle, tickle, tickle. I'll have a quick look under the stairs, see if there's anything down there. Underneath. No, that's all good. Kitchen, right. Need a fire door. This is the communal sort of living quarters. Stroke kitchen. So, we have a plug socket over there, we have no plug socket there, we have one down here, okay, wow look at this art deco, dated, so we've got a fire blanket, good, time is soft installed, okay, that's a bit of a no-no, so we have a cooker, Although it's gas, it's not so much a problem this one. If it was an electric cooker, you've got the isolation switch there. So you imagine you're cooking a pan here, frying some eggs, it sets on fire. If it is electric, the, fire, the flames are stopping you from turning it off. So that needs relocating. As I say, it's gas now, so it's not a major issue, but if you to turn it to electric at some point, it needs addressing. The doors to the kitchen. They need addressing. Oh, okay. Come and take a look at this. I'm not sure if you can see. Can you see this? What's happened there? What can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see that moving. What's happened here is a silicon seal all the way along the back has gone. Water's got up underneath it. And I'm guessing there's going to be water damage in the cupboards and the carcasses underneath. So this one's okay. That was lucky. Second one. Ah, okay, this one's fucked. Sorry. This one's no good. So if you can see that there, that's the water main coming in. The back plate's been taken out. And sure if you can see that I'll try and zoom you in the base the base is bowed where the support's gone and if you look at the back it's all wet and rotten tickle tickle so really once a new carcass in there they're all some form of DIY 
the fixer upper. Oh, there you go. That's got a bit of a bow in it. None of these things line up, but no. I think they've had the money's worth out of the kitchen, put it that way. See you too long, always a good one. Ding ding. So we'll go out into the back quarters. Uh, okay. We could do with these being clipped up. That's what we call acoustic. Acoustic pipe work. It's a lovely thing. Okay, we've got a crack. Not sure if you can see it, but it's cracking this double glazed unit. It's a 20 mil silver bar. Two that looks okay, can't see any leaks. See some big spiders. But apart from that, wood panelling. Nasty. We don't like that sort of stuff. Back door. Used to be a thumb turn, and it's not. Simple job. Let's have a quick look outside. Tiny little bit of weeding, just tied it up for the next tenants, but can't see anything of any. No, everything seems pretty standard out here. Just a quick tidy up. Minor step. I'm not sure what rent this one's fetching. I'm trying to run around the property now. Wow, look at these stairs. The carpet. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, fucking hell. I tell you what, these steps are steep. It's like we can do some climbing gear. We have. Not sure if you can see that. Come closer. Can you see these cracks going all the way up? And then higher up the wall again. A little bit of movement, I think. Oh, first smoke alarm. So, wow. This is a small bedroom, some lovely furniture. Only a small room, but we've managed to get a double bed in here. Again, only one socket. Um, something that I have noticed is you've had double glazed windows installed, but I've got no trickle vents. So this house seems to be suffering with some black mould in places. So I'd recommend some sort of ventilation stroke extraction. A bit like that mould. It's not a big thing but there you go. Have a quick look around this one. As I say I know the landlord on this one's going to do a heavy furbishment on it at some point. This room's only got one socket, and again, no thumb turn. It's a lovely big house, this is. It's huge. Uber. We like Uber. I'll say it's Uber. Wow. This is a big bedroom. This is the main bedroom at the front. Nice big room. This room's got <laughs> this room's got three sockets. Tickle tickle. And again, smoke alarms needed throughout. So there you go. There's a quick, quick appraisal of a property. See you soon.